peace for Ukraine or Ukraine now. Russia, just go home. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. I nostri programmi sono offerti in molte lingue. Consultate suprememastertv.com barra schedule. For those who lift the century through, in fear and trembling this shall do. Flee to the mountains and the dens, to bog and forest and wild fens. For storms will rage and oceans roar, when Gabriel stands on sea and shore. And as he blows his wondrous horn, old worlds die and new be born. Please watch on for Prophecy Part 253, Prophecies by the English Soothsayer Mother Shipton. Turn vegan, taking charge of your own life. Well, I'm extremely worried. I know that my future is at risk. I know that um, we have seen devastating bushfires, devastating droughts, devastating floods across the country. And I know young people across the country and across the world are extremely concerned that our futures are at risk. So that is why we've come here today to send a very clear message to our government, um, to our leaders and to corporations around the world that enough is enough and that we need change to occur. Sincere greetings, cherished viewers. My name is Ira, the visionary Cirrus hailing from the enchanting United Kingdom. Guided by ancient wisdom and attuned to the whispers of the unseen, I peer into the tapestry of time to unravel its secrets and offer guidance to those who seek it. The UK applauds your unwavering resilience and dedication to finding hope amidst adversity. May your spiritual journey be blessed with intuitive insight and wisdom. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, 
one can only rely on the Divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. As disasters continue to occur across the globe, there is a growing concern that the Earth may face unprecedented and increasingly severe calamities. These would not be limited to the familiar occurrences of tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes and floods, but events of more widespread effect and magnitude or even strange phenomena, like the sudden appearance of dangerous sinkholes. In the face of these unfolding disasters, it is natural for us to question their causes and contemplate their deeper implications. Are these catastrophic events arising from human-caused imbalances that could even lead to global extinction? Or are they the result of divine intervention that is purifying and guiding humanity? The elusive answers to these profound questions can be found within the prophetic words of Mother Shipton. We cordially invite you to tune into today's show where we will delve into these prophecies and see what insights can be revealed. When pictures seem alive with movements free, when boats like fishes swim beneath the sea, when men like birds shall scour the sky, then half the world, deep, drenched in blood shall die. The indications of an approaching global disaster, as predicted by Mother Shipton, can be seen through a series of remarkable technological advancements. The birth of cinema and videos reveal pictures that spring to life. The invention of submarines mirrors marine life moving beneath the waves. And the advent of airplanes is akin to birds soaring in the sky. The rise of these inventions marks a time of increasing global catastrophe that could cause the loss of half of the world's population. For those who lift the century through, in fear and trembling this shall do, flee to the mountains and the dens, to bog and forest and wild fens. For storms will rage and oceans roar when Gabriel stands on sea and shore. And as he blows his wondrous horn, old worlds die and new be born. Archangel Gabriel frequently appears in the Bible, delivering important messages from God. Among these messages are the announcements of the births of Lord Jesus Christ and Saint John the Baptist. Additionally, Archangel Gabriel serves as a messenger for the end times, with the sounding of his trumpet heralding the reign of the Lord and the arrival of Judgment Day. During this period, wrongdoers will face destruction, while the righteous will receive their just rewards. As foretold by Mother Shipton, Archangel Gabriel's trumpet signals both the end times and also the rebirth of a new world. However, as the old worlds collapse, when the time of judgment arrives, people will experience fear and may act in desperate ways to attempt to survive. In today's world, we're seeing an unfortunate rise in the occurrence of natural disasters and calamities that are afflicting communities and regions around the globe.
Moreover, scientists have warned that future devastation and anomalous events will far surpass the severity of anything seen before. A fiery dragon will cross the sky six times before this earth shall die. Mankind will tremble and frightened be for the sixth heralds in this prophecy. For seven days and seven nights, man will watch this awesome sight, the tide to arise beyond their ken, to bite away the shores, and then the mountains will begin to roar, and earthquakes split the plain to shore, and flooding waters rushing in will flood the lands with such a din that mankind cowers in muddy fen and snarls about his fellow men. He bears his teeth and fights and kills in secret food in secret hills, and ugly in his fear he lies to kill marauders, thieves and spies. Man flees in terror from the floods and kills and rapes and lies in blood, and spilling blood by mankind's hands will stain and bitter many lands. As these prophecies by Mother Shipton reveal, there might be a massive global disaster of unprecedented scale yet to unfold, one that will ravage the earth for seven consecutive days, leaving behind widespread destruction. A disaster of this scale would wipe out a substantial percentage of the population. And when the dragon's tail is gone, man forgets and smiles and carries on to apply himself too late too late, for mankind has earned deserved fate. His masked smile, his false grandeur, will serve the gods their anger stir, and they will send the dragon back to light the sky. His tail will crack upon the earth and rend the earth, and man shall flee, king, lord, and serf. But slowly they are rooted out to seek diminishing water spout, and men will die of thirst before the oceans rise to mount the shore, and lands will crack and rend anew. You think it's strange, it will come true. Mother Shipton's prophecy foretells that humanity will confront devastating events, perhaps even the sixth mass extinction, as scientists have warned. This is because the survivors will stubbornly return to their sinful ways even after receiving divine forewarnings. Alas, their choices will anger the gods, causing disasters to resurge and leading to the demise of those who choose to stray from the righteous path and defy God's will. Today, we extend a humble invitation to listen to the first-hand testimony from one of our association members who has been granted glimpses into these unsettling events, marking the rebirth of our world. These events encompass not only disasters and vast-scale destruction on Earth, but also never-before-seen strange phenomena, anomalies, and the like. Zuitinda 被自己的罪恶惩罚将喜马拉雅山的圣母峰打碎
，结果同样是很少人能存活下来。另外，还有大海啸从美洲中部的巴拿马运河切了过去，直接把美洲切成两半，南美洲因而下沉至海中。当南美洲下沉时，牵引拉动北美洲下面的陆块，使得北美洲就像沉没时的铁达尼号船尾情况一般，先是被拉得往空中翘了起来，然后慢慢的被南美洲给拉到海底下去。从此，地球表面将没有美洲陆块了。我又看到台湾福尔摩沙的海底下。突然出现一只比台湾福尔摩沙面积大多了的巨型黑色章鱼，这不是地球上的生物，而是惩罚者星球派来惩罚人类的怪物，攻击力超强。它伸出巨大触角，把整个台湾福尔摩沙陆地用力挤压至破碎，台湾福尔摩沙人都掉到海面上，在巨浪中再浮再沉。这种种毁灭事件，都是因为人类饮食违反宇宙爱的法则所致。数千年来，人们携优势对动物族人发动残暴战争，天天大量屠杀无助的动物族人，吃他们的肉，指望他们毫不反抗，也不惧怕天律惩罚，结果为人类自己带来了毁灭。事实上。从二零二二年九月起，我从境界中已经看到有七十二亿地球人的灵魂被关入地狱惩罚，只是他们的肉身阳寿未尽，所以还以活死人的形态活在地表上。他们因为不知道自己的灵魂已经下地狱，所以不明白为何生活如此紊乱，身体健康如此恶化，为何那么多人猝死。最糟的是，等到他们的肉体死亡时，灵魂将永远待在地狱，遭受无止境的酷刑。本来慈悲的青海无上师怜悯这些人，牺牲自己，想尽办法，在2022年12月4号，将这以下地狱的72亿人灵魂再放出来，给他们最后一次机会。改过期限是三个月。然而，到了2023年3月4号，只有约200万人有悔过得救，因此72亿人的灵魂又几乎全数再次被拉下了地狱，难有出期。在此之前，青海无上师已经将地球毁灭日往后延了很多年，但人类始终不听师傅的纯素规劝。上天的恩典不能无止境地提供给毫不改过的人。也许，也许若您悔改，或许还来得及拯救自己的灵魂。There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Grenada is one of them. Grenada: Animals Prevention of Cruelty Act and Criminal Procedure Code. In Grenada, harming or killing an animal person can be punished with a jail sentence of nine months plus a fine equivalent to one thousand one hundred U.S. dollars. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test. Or for any reason at all, be vegan, make peace. So be it. In other words, my macrobiotic diet, becoming a vegan diet, becoming a whole foods plant-based diet, killed the metastasis. The results of the diet have been perfect, 
and it has been since that diet that all my world records have come about, as well as such distinctions in the US. Mike Fremont, vegan, 101 year young marathoner, Remarkable viewers, it has been an honor to have you join us today. Please return next week as we continue our exploration of the new world that emerges after the time of destruction and judgment as foretold through the wisdom of Mother Shipton's prophecies. Coming up next is Rachel Carson, vegetarian, sparking the modern American environmental movement with a pen. Part one of two, right after noteworthy news. Please. Stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May your hearts be filled with inspiration and wonder as your spiritual journey unfolds. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Russia, leave Ukraine or your reign now. Peace be with you too. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AP.